All right, what's going on, guys? I know it's been a long time. Um, I'm out here on a run right now, about five miles in, uh, just to get my morning PT in. And I just thought to myself, man, it's been like two months, and I'm very aware of this. It's been like two months since I posted a video or even really interacted with YouTube, okay? And um, <clears throat> I thought I owed it to you guys to kind of explain why and uh, kind of let you know what's going on uh, with the Gritty Soldier channel, what you can expect in the future, hopefully, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, just sort of <clears throat> allow myself to explain my situation. So hopefully when you find yourself in, situ in similar situations, um, you know, you don't feel like you're alone, all right? Um, and with that being said, um, one of the main reasons I haven't uploaded any videos on YouTube or even created any videos for upload is because I've just been so overwhelmed, so busy with the Army, with work. I wish I could tell you guys everything I do in the Army, but, you know, for you soldiers out there, you should probably already understand that I can't just divulge everything that I do um, for work because that would be a violation of OPSEC, correct? So, yeah. So, but just know that I've been so busy that I just don't have any spare time, okay, for making videos. It actually takes a long time to make videos. It's a lot of effort, it's a lot of work, and it's mostly it's a lot of time. I've also been really busy with the family. Um, everything's good. Don't worry about all that. But just making sure that I spend enough time with them, you know, they are number one priority in my life, which I think should be the same for you <clears throat> if you do have family. Uh, also, uh, Gritty Soldier Fitness. Well, I, you know, I'm the, I'm the main owner of Gritty Soldier Fitness, and that takes <laughs> a tremendous amount of time um, to manage um, with all the orders, with all the uh, remote coaching, with all the personal training, all those things. That's all another part of my life that unfortunately has to take a backseat to being in the military, right? So <clears throat> I try to balance all these things. It's very difficult. I don't have a lot of spare time, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not disciplined or not motivated to do so. It just means I have to prioritize things correctly or as best as possible um, for what is best for me and my family and my career and all these things and make the correct decisions and allow enough time for, for all those things to continue to happen uh, onward into the future, okay? So hopefully if you're struggling with not having enough time, you know, whatever I, what I just said right there, hopefully it can give you a little solace and make you feel a little better of however you're managing your time. So I'm gonna give you a quick update on what the future holds for Gritty Soldier uh, with the channels and specifically. Um, I do plan on making uh, videos again regularly pretty soon here. In fact, in July, um, we're starting up a giveaway, a month-long giveaway in partnership with Downrange Supplements. We're going to be giving away a whole bunch of free supplements. If you guys have been watching the channel, you know that I like to do giveaways uh, because it's a good way to give back to you guys. So, <laughs> shit. So be on the lookout for that. That should be starting in July. Also, during July, I've decided to utilize that time as a, a good month to make videos and, and give you guys some um, advice and guidance on how to properly use supplements and integrate it into your training for best performance effects, best performance enhancing effects. And also just give you some ideas on how you can uh, work on your strength training, how you can build muscle quickly, how you can not waste time, and how you can remain a hybrid athlete while you're still tr strength training um, on the side. So those are going to be some of the video ideas that I have coming in July. So that will be coming that month. I'm also going to try to integrate some other video ideas that I've had plenty of time to think about that I just need to sit down and do. Long story short, you can expect to see some videos coming out in July. Okay. Um, and they should all be pretty useful to you. And with that being said, I would love to see some comments on what you'd like to see, what you'd like to know about. I know a lot of you guys reach out to me on Instagram asking for videos for the, a lot of different things. A lot of different things, really. There's tons of different subjects, uh, and I have tons of different video ideas as well. Um, but yeah, go ahead and drop comments for what you'd like to see in the future. I'll add that to the list, and we'll make it happen. And for you long-term subscribers out there, you'll also notice that I will be in a different uh, location, a different environment during that time. But... You know, that's just, that's part of being in the army. Uh, you move a lot, you, you, you TDY a lot, you PCS a lot, all these things. Um, so I will be in a different environment, but that's okay. The information is gonna remain the same. You're just gonna see some different scenery, all right? It's gonna be pretty cool. Lastly, I'm gonna give you a quick update on what's going on with the uh, 100 mile train up, okay? So pretty much 
it was like a few days after the 50K. Okay, you guys remember the 50K video I did, the last video really, um, when I went and did the 50K as part of my 100 mile train up. It was a few days after that, that I went to the field and while I was out in the field, I kinked my knee real bad, my left knee. And uh, pretty sure I have a meniscus tear. And the only reason I say that is because I've been working it a lot since then. The pain has not necessarily gone away. Sometimes it's better some, than other days, but I've had meniscus tears in the, in the past. I've had ACL reconstruction. I've, I've had like a full knee reconstruction on my right knee before. And so I kind of know what it feels like already. And I'm pretty sure it's a meniscus tear. So I'm kind of bummed about that because there's nothing you can really do as far as I know with a meniscus tear, except for um, go and get surgery to get it uh, fixed. Or I think they just cut away the tear so it doesn't continue to tear. And if I do that, that's gonna put a halt on my army career, which I really don't wanna do, to be honest. It's gonna stop me from doing a lot of the things that I'm currently working on now. And also it's gonna definitely put a halt on my running. But it's a shitty dilemma because if I don't do it, if I don't go and get this surgery, it's gonna continue to hurt. I'm gonna continue to aggravate the injury and it's just gonna it's just gonna make matters worse. And the last thing I wanna do is, you know, go out there and be on a long distance run and all of a sudden just tear it so bad or my knee buckles and I create even worse damage like an ACL tear or something like that. So I've really had to like think about this. It's been like two months since I've thought about this and I'm still out here training as much as possible. Um, but Really, I've been running less. I've been doing mostly maintenance runs. If you guys are following me on Strava, you'll see, man, Gray Solo doesn't seem to be running as much as he used to. Well, that's because I'm kind of babying an injury, um, but I'm still, I'm working more on my strength, okay? So I'm using this opportunity to deal with an injury and think about the decisions that I'm gonna have to make here shortly uh, on what to do with that injury. Using that opportunity to continue to build up other things. So I'm working on my strength again. I'm, I'm building back that muscle that I've been losing uh, with a lot of this uh, cardio training, with a lot of this distance running, okay? So that's how I'm balancing that out. Um, it's hard to deal with, you know, it's, it's shitty when you have an injury, but it's what I have to deal with right now and I have to figure it out. Um, I think right now I'm gonna use this opportunity starting July to continue my train up. I've decided I'm gonna continue to train up with a hundred miler until I just can't do it anymore, okay? I, I'm, it won't be to the point of full on injury, but it'll be to the point where it's like, I just know in my soul, okay, if I keep going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach the point of no return and create an injury where I can't bounce back, back from. And I don't want that to happen, okay? But I am gonna keep trying uh, to train up for the 100 miler. Um, in the location that I'm going to, I'm gonna be looking for a 50 miler to, to do, and then 100K, and then I'm hoping by next spring, I'll be able to knock out, well, not knock out, but I'll be able to complete a 100 miler run, okay? So that's kind of, the ultra marathon training. Um, but like I said, you're gonna be seeing some more strength training as well um, and strength training oriented videos to come alongside the ultra marathon uh, videos, okay? So a lot of videos, a lot of videos coming in the future. Uh, I apologize for the lag in videos. I apologize that uh, I haven't been keeping up with you guys. Um, YouTube is not my last priority in life at all. Um, especially, you know, Gritty Soldier Fitness is definitely not my last priority in life, um, but Unfortunately, because of time constraints, again, YouTube has just had to take a step back. I love all of you guys. You guys have been awesome throughout the, I guess, years now. It's been a couple of years since Gritty Soldier's been going, wow, that's crazy. I don't ever plan to stop doing this, these videos, so don't ever think that I've abandoned you guys or anything like that. It's just life is complicated sometimes. There's not always enough time to do the things that we want to do, and we just have to sometimes navigate our, our way around that. Um, and I'm no exception to that rule, okay? So <clears throat> bear with me. Um, pretty soon here, starting July, be on the lookout for the giveaway startup. That's gonna be happening the whole month. So you'll have, just like before, a bunch of videos that come out. You'll be able to comment, like, share, and that will enter your name into the drawings. There's actually gonna be three winners uh, for this giveaway. So that's pretty cool, okay? So more than one winner this time. Um, and... There's gonna be a whole bunch more updates in the future. A whole bunch is going on in the shoot, man. Uh, for the next six months, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty big. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of things going on. So just keep keep up with me. But that's the gritty soldier update. I hope you guys uh, understand everything that's going on. Hope you guys found some usefulness out of that as well. Something that you can apply to your own life. And 
again, not feel like you're alone in these complicated uh, situations where you just don't ever feel like you have enough time. Sometimes it's just not enough time, you know? It's just not enough time in the day. But it's okay. Just keep working hard, keep moving forward. That's all you can do sometimes. As long as you do that, you're good to go. You're gonna keep going. You're gonna keep moving forward. And that's what it's all about. So that's the update, guys. I feel like I've talked your ear off enough. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to my run now. I still gotta make it back to the car and in time for uh, to get back to work this morning. So we're gonna do that. Don't forget to add in the comments any video ideas you might have, you might wanna see in the future. I'll add it to the list. I've got a pretty extensive list, but that's okay. We'll just keep growing it, no big deal. We'll get to it eventually. Also, if you have any quick questions that you'd like me to answer, now go ahead drop that in the comments i'll be making sure to review the comments and i will answer those questions to the best of my ability as usual and besides that i've got nothing else for you and i'll see you on the next one